Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Team Fury. I have not seen you guys in like a month, so let's get to it then. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have 38 subscribers now. I have not, like I said before, I have not seen you guys in a month. I'm excited. I'm doing this again. So, what I've been doing is I'm thinking, what if I went back to Team Theory? Mitchell, you gotta get your head in the game. You gotta do this. You gotta think this through. You gotta think this through, guys. Team Theory. A lot of people who like Team Theory. I got tw tw almost 29 views on Sister Location. Sister Location should not exist on Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, I gotta take it back. That theory could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. Because you'll know why in a minute. Okay. So, this is my title of the video is What We Missed. And what we missed was pretty gosh darn huge. Everyone missed this. Everyone. I'm telling you. Everyone missed this. Even Film Theory. They missed this. It was very important that they didn't get it. Okay. In the Five Nights at Freddy's, the updated edition, FNAF, the, like I said, updated edition, we, they said the survival logbook could help us solve everything. I encountered three names in the gosh darn book. All three names. Three names. Yes, three names. Okay. And they were all through the book. The, mostly the word search. They were, okay, Cassidy. Which was a girl of bl with black hair from the fourth closet that film theory helped with. And Mary. Okay, Mary, Sam, film theory was close. They tried to solve it and they could have gotten a name called Mary, but we don't know any Marys now, do we? So Cassidy's our closest bet. They almost had it. They almost had it. They, uh, by using a, what was it called? If I can get it right. I have these notes. I have a whole bunch of notes, ladies and gentlemen. Notes of it. Uh, I'm not prepared, I guess. Open F6. No, no. Here we go. Okay. FNAF clues. All right, page number. Those are all numbered. So putting the numeric clues in order, we get 52, 39, 15, 7, 2, 10, 11, and 10, and 8, 11. Okay. Now, on page 95, there is a drawing exercise involving a grid, but the grid isn't set up properly. To complete the drawing, it accesses to complete the drawing. The accesses are numbered from the upper left corner, and there's a tiny A, B, C in that corner. This is the polybus square used for cracking codes. Like, you know, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. You probably get it if you're all, like, in National Treasure, like Nicolas Cage. I know someone is like that. Uh... It appears we're supposed to fill out the rest of the alphabet on the polybus square left to right. Then the graph, uh, and then graph the numeric clues on it. Uh, it's either down or across uh, style. Game theory missed this, so just to be aware, game theory missed this. Uh, doing that yielded Z N E L Z N. For the record, graphing them across down, across down yielded X Y Y X R P. Now this is where I got stumped. Okay, this isn't my source. This is like Wikipedia or something like that. That's what they say. This is where they're stumped. I ran the Z-N-E-L-N -E clue through the standard geocaching description key that sub substitutes one letter for another one, and I got Mary Ma. Mary Ma. It's like, Mary Ma! Mary Ma! Oh, Mary Ma! Sounds like Robin Hood over something. Oh, Mary Ben! <laughs> uh, anyhow, Mary Ma. That's what we got. If you take out the last two clues that each have two separate numbers, which would be 10, 11, and 8, 11, that leaves you with an actual name, Mary. I still think there's got to be more to it. We don't know any person named Mary, so we can scratch that name off the list. Sam was the last one. That's where I got huge with it, was Sam. It's in the word search, okay? Uh... Actually, it's one of it's in Cassidy's name. How do you say Cassidy? You just go the numbers that you got, like five across and two down. That would be a C in the word search if I can find it. In word searches, I'm searching for a word search, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this is where I found. I found sentences. This is the word search. I don't know about the mirror, so I'm gonna look into that mirror. Okay, so five across, and then we got C, and then the other direction was three across, one, two, three, and nine down. Okay, right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here, Sam. It's Sam again. That's two Sams. 
Scott does not do coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Coffin does not do coincidences. So, Sam could be short for Sammy, which would be Charlie's twin brother. I haven't read The Fourth Closet yet, which would be the third novel of the math series, but I got a friend who might give me it, so I'm hoping. Alright? Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Okay. I'm already I'm ready. Okay, so what we missed, pretty much, this is huge, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss this video. What we missed. Okay, go, like I said, going back through, did that. Blew my mind noticing that two freaking sentences were there. Two. Two sentences, okay? Now, the Sam, we're going to get there. The first is, who are you? And the second is, what is your name? To answer them, we get our, the answer, it's me. Everyone knows who it's me. It's me, Golden Freddy signature. Woohoo! That's my phone number. It's double me. Woohoo! All right. Okay. But looking at the word search again, I found the same name spelled twice in the words. Also, be sure to know that Scott Coffin doesn't do coincidence. I went through this. Spelled the name was Sam. Okay, well, we missed part two. So now we have two names in the logbook, Sam and Mary. That's where I didn't read Cassidy. So what do we know about Mary? Let's go down this. Okay, what do we know about Mary? So what do we know? Well, nothing. <coughs> That's a big no-no. We need to know something about Mary, but we don't know nothing about Mary. Mary, nothing. We don't have anything about Mary. All right? Mary is nothing. Presu know this, that... No, no, this is that her name is throughout the entire logbook, and presumably her photo is too. No, note the only child shown in the logbook. Uh, but do we know about her? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. She's not mentioned in any of the storybooks and the games, so, though she could be the sixth gravestone or the one that's in the back if you played, uh... Drama, please! Uh... Pizzeria Simulator, that game. I haven't played the games, though. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't played the games. All I'm going through is the books and online sources. Be aware that I'm a nerd. All right, what we missed, part three. Uh, Sam. Now let's look, let's take a look at Sam. Okay, so he wasn't part of the missing children, but he isn't important to someone else. Charlie, that's her br twin brother. This could also mean that Charlie could somehow talk to him, or someone is talking to Sam. Let me get to that in a minute. The gravestones. Let's go back to the gravestones, okay? There were two that were hidden, friggin' were undefined pretty much. There was like one in the back. People think that it's Charlie's gravestone and the one, game theory probably said grass. Hey, who are we to judge who kids, what parents name their kids? Probably some celebrities. Oh, you must meet my child. This is audio science. Prince Philip III and grass. Freaking celebrity kids, man. They'll get you. Freaking Trump did that. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so what if that's the two unnamed gravestones? Names. After all, in the logbook, we see a picture of a gravestone that reads my name. Maybe saying it's Mary's name or Sam's. But then again, it could be Cassidy's name, so we're not really sure. Cassidy, I didn't look at Cass- I didn't see Cassidy by then. Okay. Now let's go back to where I mentioned the sentences. Number one, who would- Number one would have to be, who are you? And the response would be, it's me, Sam, or Cassidy. It's me, Cassidy, or Sam. I'm feeling it's Sam because Sam is spoken no, twice. Cassidy's only spoken once. So twice would be it. So it's got to be Sam, possibly. All right. Number two would be, what is your name? And the response would be Sam. There, then again, like I said, there's two sentences, two names. But there could be a third. Now, I'm taking this as a huge leap of fate. This could be a third. That we're, we're sentence where we're maybe talking to a crying ghost child. Say, like, what, what it might say. Okay, so, you know how you stutter when you cry, like, He, he took my freaking lollipop, Mom, and I don't, I, I, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. That, that was acting, professional acting. I think I deserve a Oscar Meyer Award for something like that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna do this. Is it so? Well, this might happen in a sentence. Some then it says some again miss me. Some some miss me, and there's a crying child. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a crying child, five of them, some miss me. Who misses you? Who misses you? See the Cassidy we're talking about, because that's only one sentence, and we got one name. So Cassidy says. Some miss me. Not a lot of like you. 
Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Now that I think of it, it might be it might be a small conversation between Sam and Mary if they were ghosts and Mike is hearing the voices and thinks he's going crazy. Then again, Mike is in uh, red of the survival log book. You should go get that on Amazon, man. It's a good book. Plenty of theories. Okay, remember when I... S I don't think I said this, but... I gotta go back. Okay, this could help with the Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie. Uh... Uh... Identities, thank you. Identities. Now, when I say shadows, I mean Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie. Now, why, why are we going back to them? Well, there are just two Shadow characters, don't forget. Uh, right? Well, we just found two random names, so maybe that's their identities. Okay? You know how uh, uh, Shadow Bonnie has two different names, one being a uh, nickname and the other being R-W-Q-F-S-F-A-X-C. Well, looking at the names, Sam could be short for Sammy. Thinking about it, thinking, thinking, think about it, pretty much. Think about it! Think about it. Think about it. Alright, so in the book Silver Eyes, we're told that a yellow rabbit killed Sammy. So maybe since that's the last thing he saw, then he could have become a shadow of it. The last thing we see could be a shadow of it. A shadow of the person who killed you. Reminds me of something Golden Freddy said. Uh... I'm given flinch to be your tormentor. Tormentor. Ta-da. Okay. Uh, now Shadow Freddy, only one name, and so does Mary. So those pieces fall into place. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's literally all that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what we missed. I want you guys to know that we missed that, and I'm happy you saw it. So hang loose. Team Theory, hope you leave a like and subscribe, and don't forget to check in. Next week, this week, whatever day it is, Saturday? It's Saturday? Yeah, next week we're going to be doing Nutball. Be excited because I'm going to be screaming my head off, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Nutball. I actually played that, so we're going to we're gonna get started there, and I'll let you know, hey, I did this, so you guys are going to be coming to school with me tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to have kids. Please don't forget, leave a like and subscribe, and what do you think of Nutball?